One of the most important problems uh, that uh, a physician has uh, to face uh, when uh, he prescribes uh, an antibiotic for uh, the treatment uh, of uh, a bacterial disease is, uh, is uh, to decide the length of antibiotic administration. The duration of therapy is important and is usually codified in 10 days uh, after which uh, the uh, antibiotics is stopped and uh, usually the disease is considered cured. This is uh, a convention because uh, uh, usually we do not know whether the uh, antibiotics uh, were able to eradicate uh, the uh, pathogens uh, from the site uh, of the infection. And uh, this usually uh, is possible only for uh, streptococcal pharyngitis in which with a rapid test or uh, with uh, a culture of uh, a pharyngeal swab uh, we can identify the cases in which uh, the pathogen has been eradicated and the cases uh, with failure. And uh, also in uh, urinary tract infection, in which uh, with the culture of the urine, you can decide uh, whether or not the patient is cured. But in all the other cases, we, we do not know uh, whether the uh, microbial uh, agents uh, have been uh, eradicated. And uh, the 10 days uh, duration of the therapy is decided uh, taking in account that uh, at the end of this period, usually signs and symptoms of disease uh, uh, have been uh, elim uh, eliminated and the patient is considered cured. But there are a lot of situations in which we have uh, the possibility to reduce or are obliged to uh, prolong the uh, antibiotic therapy therapy because uh, in some cases the antibiotics reach in the site of the infection a concentration uh, so high to eliminate uh, in very few days uh, the pathogens themselves and in other cases uh, the opposite uh, occurs. In uh, these cases uh, the antibiotics uh, do not reach the site of the infection in uh, uh, adequate concentration and uh, a long uh, uh, duration of treatment uh, is uh, needed. Uh, what is the conclusion of uh, this, uh, <coughs> this speech? The conclusion is that uh, it is impossible to state uh, in each patient uh, the optimal duration if we uh, don't uh, follow uh, the uh, clinical trials that have demonstrated for each uh, disease the real uh, optimal duration of uh, the, uh, the treatment. And uh, the guidelines are usually prepared for all the disease in order to avoid the risk to have a, a too short or too long uh, therapy. And physician has to follow attentively these, uh, uh, these uh, guidelines in order to avoid risk of failure or risk of adverse event for uh, too long uh, treatment.